Hi friends, I'm Dimity Sky. Thank you so much for meeting me out here at the beautiful Lennox Head. I'm out by the lake, it's such a lovely day. And I have for you a heart and hips flow. So this flow is going to open up the heart space, open up the hips and leave you feeling it's nice and relaxed, but also energized at the same time. You won't need any props for this flow, just yourself in some comfy clothes. Get ready and I'll see you soon. mats. So find a stance that you're comfortable in and that you feel stable in. Feet about hip width apart. Roll your shoulders down your back. Spine is nice and straight. And feel the inner edges and the outer edges of your feet pressing down. And take a deep breath in here. Gentle sigh out through the mouth. Bring your hands into Anjali Mudra and take a bow to honor yourself, to honor the fact that you made time for yourself, that you showed up for yourself and to honor the practice and each other. Open up the eyes, inhale as you sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, pull the prayer down. And again, open up, inhale. Exhale, for two, three more, inhale. Exhale, three, inhale. Exhale, four, last one, inhale. Exhale, five, and start to walk your hands all the way out. Finding a plank position. Shoulders over wrists, you can lower the knees if you need to. Inhale as you walk it all the way back up. Sweep the arms up. Exhale as you walk it all the way out. Finding your plank pose. Inhale as you walk it back up. Three more. Exhale, walk it out. Inhale, walk it back. Two more, exhale, walk it out. Inhale, walk it back. Last one, exhale, walk it out. And you'll hold your plank pose here. Press on back, finding downward facing dog and just start to pedal your feet out. Move the feet from side to side, bend your knees. Let's make any sort of movements that feel good. And then pause in your downward facing dog, raise your right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, circle the hip around here for three, two, and one. Now lean the right leg over to the left, bring your gaze over to the left to look at your right toes. Square off the hip, spinning your right hip point down, flexing your toes in. Exhale as you bring the knee into the left elbow, right knee, left elbow over to the right elbow all the way back three-legged dog nice again left right and back two going for five left right and back three two more left right and back for four last one left right and back, knee into nose, round the spine, step the foot in between the hands, lower your back knee down. Inhale as you sweep the arms up, circle the arms all the way around, open up the chest for five, again, for four, for three, for two, last one, circle the arms up. Plant the hands, straighten your front leg, flex your toes in. Take a breath in here. 
and a breath out as you fold over the legs. Then plant your front foot, plant your hands, lift the left knee up, step the right foot back, press back, downward facing dog. Other side, raise your left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, circle the hip around. And then lean that left leg over to the right, bring your gaze over to the right to look at your left toes. Now square off the hip, flexing your toes, spinning your left hip point down. Exhale as you bring the left knee into the right elbow. Take it to the left elbow. All the way back, three-legged dog for five. Again, we go left, right, and up four. Left, right, and up three. Two more. Left, right and up for two last one left right and up knee into nose round the spine step the foot in between the hands lower the back knee down inhale as you sweep the arms up all the way around for five for four for three for two Last one, all the way up and around. Plant the hands, straighten your front leg, flex your toes in. And take a breath in here. And a breath out, fold over the legs. Plant your front foot, plant your hands, lift the right leg up, step the left foot back. And press on back, downward facing dog. So nice. From your downward facing dog, you're going to slowly begin to walk your feet to your hands. Inhale to a halfway lift when you get there. Exhale as you fold over the legs. Find Utkatasana, chair pose. So you sit down nice and low and raise yourself up. Bring the arms up, reach up. And exhale as you stand, arms down and by your side. Suri Namaskar B, Utkatasana, chair pose, sitting down low again. Exhale as you fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you're going to hop or step your right foot back into a plank pose. And then you lower the knees, untuck your toes, lower the chest all the way down. Extend the arms out all the way and take a breath in. Breath out as you squeeze shoulder blades together, cactusing your arms, reaching the crown forward for three. Inhale, extend. Exhale as you squeeze for two. Last one. Inhale, extend. Exhale as you squeeze and then extend the arms behind you, clasping a hold of the hands, lifting the chest. The feet are off, heels are together, reaching crown forward for three, two, and one, lower, plant your hands, tuck your toes, press up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up, right knee into nose, round the spine, step the foot in between the hands, pivot your back foot, press up for warrior one. Nice, take a breath in here as you lift that front knee, breath out as you soften into it for three. Again, inhale up, exhale, soften for two, last one, inhale up. Exhale, soften into it, and then release the hands, pivot your back toes, step the foot back, and you lower the knees here again, otherwise you can lower for a full chaturanga. I'll demonstrate that on the next round, uh, but I'll modify on this round for you. Lower the knees, untuck your toes, lower the chest. Inhale up to cobra. Exhale as you lower, tuck toes, plant hands, press up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Left knee into nose, round the spine. Step the foot in between the hands, pivot your back foot. Press all the way up, Virabhadrasana, one. Bending into that front thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend for three. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend for two. Last one, inhale, bend. Exhale, soften into it release the hands, pivot 
at your back toes, step it back. Now you'll take that modified version that I showed on the last round, otherwise lower chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale as you press on back for downward facing dog. On your inhale, you're either going to hop or step the right foot in between the hands. Exhale as you fold and bow over the legs. Utkatasana, chair pose, sit down nice and low. Then start to lower yourself down, 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 down. Knees come wide, bringing your butt all the way down onto the mat. Nice. And then lower all the way down. You should be able to tap your heels with your fingers. Slowly inhale as you roll up into bridge. And then bring your uh, left knee into your chest. Left knee comes in, extend straight, take it up and lower. 10, in, out, up, down. 9, in, out, up. 8, in, out, up. 7, in, out, up. 6, in, out, up. Five, in, out, up. Four, in, out, up. Three, in, out, up. Two, last one, in, out, up. One, lower your butt down and just grab a hold uh, above or below that left knee joint as you extend your right leg all the way long. Lift on up, bringing your head in towards the left shin. Nice, hold here for a moment, stretch it out. And then switch it for the other side. And switch, and switch, and switch. Relax your head. Now you can stay right here, hugging the uh, legs in with the hands or release the hands by the side. Nice, press that lower back down. Just here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Finish with the right leg up and then bend into the right knee, cross it over the left and reach on through behind the thigh or around the shin for recline pigeon. Flexing your right toes in. So the right leg is crossed over the left. Take a deep breath in here. And a deep breath out. Slowly release the leg, bringing your hands underneath the thighs. Take a breath in, little roll back. Breath out as you roll up. Now you're either gonna cross the right leg over the left or just lean forward. See if you can lean forward, knees come wide. I'm gonna use my hands because I'm on a slope. Finding your chair pose. Pressing up again for chair. And exhale as you stand, arms down by your side. Again, Utkatasana, chair pose, sit down low. Exhale as you fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hop or step left foot back. And you can lower the knees if you need, otherwise lower for Chaturanga, coming all the way down onto your belly. Hold on your belly. And then you'll extend the arms out and you'll lift the legs. Reaching forward, reaching back, take your breath in. Breath out, cactus the arms. Nice. Inhale as you extend. Exhale, cactus the arms for two. Inhale, extend. Exhale for three. Two more. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Last one, inhale, extend, exhale, and then reach the arms to the back of the mat, clasping your hands, lift your chest, reaching the crown forward, feet are off, heels are together, hold here, stay for three, stay for two, and one, release the hands next to the shoulders, press up and back into a downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale your right leg up. 
right knee into nose around the spine step the foot in between the hands pivot your back foot come up virabhadrasana one three little knee bends inhale lift exhale as you lower for three inhale lift exhale lower for two last one inhale lift exhale lower plant the hands pivot your back foot step the right foot back lower the knees here or lower for a full vinyasa so chaturanga inhale to cobra or upward facing dog exhale roll back adho mukha svanasana downward facing dog inhale your left leg up left knee into nose round the spine step the foot pivot your back foot press up virabhadrasana one and again three little knee bends inhale lift exhale lower for three inhale lift exhale lower for two last one inhale lift exhale as you lower plant the hands pivot on the back toes step your left foot back lower the knees if you need or lower for a chaturanga inhale to cobra or upward facing dog exhale as you take it back to adho mukha svanasana downward facing dog on your inhale you'll hop or step left foot in between the hands exhale as you fold Utkatasana, chair pose sit down low and then start to lower yourself all the way down round two bring your butt all the way down and come down onto your back make sure you can tap the heels in and lift your legs up nice and high lifting your hips using your heels to lift up and bring the right knee in this time right knee into the chest right knee comes in extend up lower 10 in extend up 9 in extend up 8 in extend up 7 in extend up 6 in extend up 5 4 3 two last one in extend up lower your butt down and just bring that right knee right leg up sorry so straighten that right leg straighten your left leg grab a hold above or below your right knee joint and pull it on in towards the face nice and then switch it for the other side and switch and switch keeping both legs straight toes pointed you can stay here holding the legs or bring the arms by the side lift from your chest not your neck press lower back down here for 10 here for 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and finish with the left leg up cross the left leg over the right and reach on through behind the thigh or around the shin for recline pigeon flexing your left toes in just enjoy this stretch for your glutes enjoy this moment of connecting with your body connecting with your breath one more breath in one more breath out and then Hugging the knees in, bringing the hands gently underneath the knees. You take a breath in, little roll back. Breath out as you roll up. You can cross the left leg over the right or plant both feet. See if you can just press up. I'm gonna use my hands again on a slope, finding your chair pose. And exhale as you stand, arms down and by your side. So nice team. All right, find Utkatasana again. Final round. Exhale as you fold, bow over the legs. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, hop or step right foot back. And take yourself through your vinyasa or just press on back, downward facing dog. No problems. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up. Right knee into left elbow. Take it to the right elbow. All the way back up, three-legged dog. 
Knee into nose, round the spine, step the foot, pivot your back foot, press up for Virabhadrasana. One, warrior one. Then straighten your front leg, bring the arms behind you, clasp the hands. Inhale, open up through the chest. Exhale, bend that front knee and bow, bringing your right shoulder to inner right knee. Hold and breathe here for three. Stay for two and one and then slowly release and come up halfway gaze forward and you can release the hands if you need bringing them down otherwise just lift your left toes up finding the balance warrior three with hands clasped hold here for three stay for two and one step the foot back release the hands and open up for warrior two just moving through, flip front palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale for side angle, rest your elbow on your knee, extend your top arm overhead. Inhale to Skandasana, to the back of the mat. Exhale, as you press on up, surround that front foot. Pivot both feet to face forward, lower your left knee down. And then straighten your front leg, flex your toes in. Ada Hanumanasana again, you can stay right here or you can explore what the body wants to do for this moment and he'll tell your front foot forward, your back foot back and just find your edge. We'll stay a little above your edge to start off with and then soften into it using your breath. Maybe you can come the whole way down, maybe not, it doesn't matter. It's not the point. The point is, is that you're feeling into your body, finding what feels good. Let's take one more breath in here and stay for the breath out. Then very slowly release, come out of it. You're gonna plant that front foot and lift your left leg all the way up. Now hold here for a moment, bowing over the line of your front leg, lifting your left toes up nice and high and then bring that left leg all the way through, all the way out in front of you, lifting your hands up. Bring the leg hip height if you can, flex your foot, and then sit that left foot over the top of the right. Now slowly begin to lower on down, hands in prayer, hands can be down on blocks if you need. If you can, bring the arms behind you, clasping the hands, open up through the chest, hold here for three, for two, and one, find stag pose, bring the knee up, bring the arms up. And exhale, hands down and by your side. Last side, last round. Utkatasana, chair pose, sit down low. Exhale as you fold it over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hop or step the left foot back. Take yourself through your vinyasa or press back down dog. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. Once you get there, inhale, left leg up, left knee into right elbow, over to the left elbow, all the way up, three-legged dog, knee into nose, round the spine, step the foot in between the hands, pivot your back foot, press up, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one, then straighten your front leg, bring the arms behind you, clasp the hands, inhale, open the chest, exhale, bend the front knee and lean forward, Left shoulder to inner left knee, humble warrior, hold. Stay here for three, for two, and one. Slowly come up, just halfway, keeping the hands clasped. If you can, you can lower them if you need. See if you can lean forward, lifting your right toes off, reaching the crown forward. Hold here, stay for three, stay for two, one, step your right toes back, release the hands, come up and then open, split the hands for warrior two. You got it, so close, nearly there. Flip from palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle, elbow on knee, extend top arm overhead. Gaze down, walk your hands to the back of the mat, finding skandasana, finding that juicy stretch in your inner left thigh. And then exhale, use the power of that back heel to press up, pivot both feet forward, lower your back knee down. And then straighten your front leg, flex your toes in, Ardha Hanumanasana. 
You can stay right here or heel toe front foot forward, back foot back and just explore what the body wants to do. Just enjoy this moment of connecting with your body and your breath. Relaxing the shoulders, modify however you need. Take a deep breath in here. Stay for the breath out. And very slowly release. You're gonna press on up and out of it. Plant your front foot, lift your back leg up. Reach through your back toes and slowly begin to bow over the line of your front left leg. Then slowly get your, take your right leg all the way through, sweep it through. Bring it up in front, hold, flex your toes, and then sit the right leg over the left. Slowly lower on down. Finding your Galavasana, you can stay right here or bring the arms behind the back, open up through the chest. Hold, stay for three. Stay for two, and one, find stag pose, inhale, bring the knee up, bring the arms up, and exhale, hands down, and by your side. Nice, take a moment here in Tadasana, mountain pose. Deep breath in, and a deep breath out. And then take your right hand, left side of head. I'm going to face away from you so you can see me. Uh, left hand, thumb faces down. Bring the hand behind the back and slowly pull the head over and the shoulder down. Slowly inhale the head up and release. Other side. Right hand, thumb faces down. Bring it behind the back. Slowly pull the head over and the shoulder down. And slowly inhale the head all the way up. Release the hands and bring your feet out nice and wide. Hands into prayer, take a breath in and a breath out as you lower down for your yogi squat malasana. Pressing your elbows against your inner knees, open up through the chest, take a breath in here, stay for the breath out, and then slowly you can bring the hands behind you, and scoot the buttocks back, extend the legs forward, take a breath in, and a breath out as you bow over the line of the front legs, front legs, sorry if you've got back legs as well. If you've got back legs, then that would make sense. Otherwise, just bow over the legs. <laughs> mm. Take a breath in here and a breath out. And then slowly release and you'll come all the way down onto your back, extending the legs up. Now you can stay right here if this is comfortable for you. Beautiful pose, bringing all that fresh blood to the upper part of the body. Or you can lift the legs up, grabbing a hold of the flesh just below the rib cage or above the buttocks. And very slowly begin to let the legs fall overhead. Take some deep breaths here. very slowly whenever you're ready you can begin to lower yourself all the way down you'll extend your left leg hug your right knee in right knee comes over to the left for a twist extending your left arm out right arm out sorry using your left hand to pull the right knee up and over and then very slowly in how back to center You'll hug your left knee in, left knee over to the right, extending your left arm out. You can use your right hand to pull the left knee up and over. And then inhale back to center. 
make any other final adjustments or you can set yourself up for just a, a minute or so in Shavasana, longer, if you would like. Just making sure that you giving yourself some time to let your practice integrate. Finding a comfortable lying position. Bringing all of your attention onto your breath. Feeling a sense of gratitude for your body, for the gift of movement and for the practice. Now I encourage you to stay here for as long as you need. This is where I leave you, from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me and I look forward to practicing with you again soon.